This video will show you how to properly assemble a horse pasture feeder. You'll need two 9 16 tools, like a wrench and a socket ratchet. Begin by setting your feeder base in the upright position and remove the wire ties that are holding the feeder tub to the base. Next, attach the hay rack end frames to the ends of the bunk feeder frames with the bolts provided. Each end frame piece has a sticker to indicate which side of the end frame should face the outside. The poly liner will be in between the hay rack end frame and the bunk feeder frame. Align the holes in the end frame, the poly tub, and the feeder base and insert your bolts. The nut should just be hand tightened for now. The hay rack sides will attach between the hay rack end frames. Each hay rack panel will have a sticker to indicate which rail is the top rail. The tabs on the end of the hay rack panel should be facing inward. Slide the rack into place with the tabs inside the end frames. Use the enclosed bolts and nuts to attach the bottom tab on one end of the rack to the corresponding tab in the center of the end frame. Insert the bolt from the outside to the end, hand tightening the nut on the inside. Next, move to the opposite end of the rack panel and attach the bottom tab to the corresponding tab in the center of the end frame. Again, insert the bolt from the outside to end, hand tightening the nut. Pick up the second hay rack panel, slide it into place on the opposite side, and connect the bottom tabs of this panel in the same manner that you attached the other side. You can now attach the top connection tabs on both of the hay racks to the corresponding tabs in the top corners of the end frames. Finally, use your 9 16 tool to tighten all of the nuts and bolts. Your horse pasture feeder is now properly assembled and ready for use. If you have any questions about your product, please give us a call at 1-800-527-8616 or visit us on the web at prefert.com. Prefert, America's number one name in farm, ranch, and rodeo equipment.